demanding that the president resigns. A tough security crackdown has been launched and yet people are not giving up. But can the protesters achieve lasting political change? This is Inside Story. I'm Rob Matheson. Welcome to the program. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has to go. That's the call being made in rare protests against the leadership in Egypt. Friday was dubbed a day of rage in which one protester was killed and several were arrested. Giza has been the epicenter since demonstrations began on September the 20th. Security personnel have been deployed there in force. In Damietta, police with guns faced off with dozens of demonstrators before charging at the crowd. Ten people were arrested. Another four were detained in the southern city of Luxor. And in Cairo's Hawan neighborhood, people chanted, Say it out loud, don't be scared, El Sisi has got to go. Well, the protests reignited on the anniversary of last year's mass rallies. There's anger over President Sisi's decision to demolish thousands of homes the government says were built illegally. Some of the poorest communities are affected. 70% of Egyptians are estimated to be living on the poverty line, and coronavirus lockdowns have made their situation worse. The protests are the biggest held since 2019, when video messages from Egyptian businessman Muhammad Ali inspired similar rallies. He says Sisi and his allies spend public money building themselves luxury homes. Sisi banned unauthorized protests when he took power in a military coup in 2013. But the biggest wave of arrests has been in 2019. Amnesty International says at least 4,000 people were detained. Well, Muhammad Ali has released more video messages in support of the protesters. He's urging people to stay on the streets until the president resigns. Egyptians unite. Out of love for the Egyptian people, take back your country again. Don't leave it in El Sisi's hands. Down with the Sisi regime. Down with the Sisi regime. Don't go home. Do not go home. If we go home, they will detain us. Don't go home. We're in the streets, and now we need to stay there. 